Once a local couple is on a mission to bring awareness to kidney disease uh, by sharing their own stories tonight. Not sure if you're aware, but March is Kidney Awareness uh, Month. I want to welcome Carmelita Sims and her husband, Sunday, right. uh, to discuss how their kidney functions organization helps support the community. First, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, first, I want you guys to share a little bit about your personal stories, because both of you have kidney disease. Um, Carmelita, we'll start with you. Okay. Um, my husband was diagnosed in 1997 with end-stage renal disease as a result of hypertension mm. and then in 2003 I was then diagnosed as a result of systemic lupus and so that's been we've been able to kind of bounce off of each other um, our you know dealings with the disease and we've been able to meet a lot of people and yeah. experience a lot of things together that, and that's kind of what um, propelled us into um, organizing kidney functions and you have had a transplant, you will need one. And so I, I think people don't realize how many folks are touched by this disease, Sunday. Well, a great number. I mean, I've been on for the last 17 years. My fault I've been on this long, but uh, it, it, it affected me at a very young age. I was 26 years old. Um, we had just had our child. She was six weeks old. Mm. And um, it's, it's quite shocking to get that diagnosis. But um, like you said, her being there for me was a great support mechanism. And it was kind of, I don't know how to even put it, when she, we found out that she had kidney loss as well, I'm glad that I had the experience that I could help her through the process as well. And so, of course, this propelled you guys to start kidney functions. Yes. How does this work? Well, there are things that you, first of all, when you're diagnosed with kidney failure, a lot of times you're, your doctor says your kidneys are failing. One day you're on, you're not on dialysis, and the next day you are. Mm. And so it's a swift process. And so what you need, there are some essentials that you need that you don't know you need. And so when you get to the clinic, it's sometimes you're cold. Well, a lot of times you're cold. The process makes you cold, so mm -hmm. you need a blanket. Um, and then there's you're sitting in the chair for sometimes three days a week, four four and a half to five hours a day. You need. A pillow for okay. your neck, and you have you brought the props of like sort of right. the essentials that right. you need. Exactly. This pillow, uh, I mean the, the blanket, a pillow support for your neck, and and that's why you guys started kidney function exactly. so that you so that other folks wouldn't kind of have to learn the hard way right. the way you did. This arms them with what they need. Uh, what what are the other things you have here? Well, let me just tell you, right here is a squeeze tool. Mm -hmm. You have an access that you have to help mature, and you have to kind of use this for the maturing process. Okay. It's kind of like what you use uh, when you give blood. Yeah, mm -hmm. a little Same bit. Thing. Okay. Um, here's the pill bottle because generally you have to do anything from a phosphorus binders to high blood pressure or whatever. So more than one medication that you're taking yes. daily. Mm -hmm. All right. And believe it or not, you got a lot of time to think. <laughs> so we have a pen and, and a, a notebook. Okay. You can journal. You can discuss things because one thing you find out, and can't forget the earbuds. Mm -hmm. Those are Listen way important music, there. Yeah. But uh, when you first get on, it's, it's a shock to your system. Mm -hmm. And I know I went through depression. My wife went through depression, everybody mm -hmm. I know, because when you're told for the rest of your life this is something I have to do, it can kind of hit you. So this gives you time to also occupy your mind. I have a childhood friend who was diagnosed in 2010, and, and, and she is going to need a transplant herself. So this definitely hits home for me. Uh, to the folks who are listening at home thinking, gosh, what can I do? We have a Facebook page. You can like us on Facebook. And there we also have a GoFundMe page. Mm -hmm. You can reach the link to the GoFundMe page on our Facebook page. And it's about 15 to $25 will fund a bag. Wow. For so not a whole lot. Not a whole lot at all. Can, can do a whole lot. Yeah. And it will, it's, it's real comforting because, like I said, when you go into a center, it's a strange environment. Mm -hmm. You need a little something to say, okay, what's going on here? If you don't have a blanket, you're going to get cold. Everybody does. You're going to get tired. You're sitting up. So all of these things are strictly for the dialysis patient to say, hey, we understand because we've been here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like doctors or nurses. They can tell you a lot. Right. But we've sat in a seat. Mm -hmm. And we know what will help comfort you just a little bit. And you guys have an event coming up uh, for patients with kidney disease on and on di dialysis. Pardon me. So talk a little bit about what folks can expect at this event. At this event, it's kind of a meet and greet just to get to know some people in the dialysis community. And we're also going to be tasting and sampling some kidney-friendly snacks. Okay. And some, you know, we're working with some area dietitians to get some, even some meal choices that you can have at home. Because I think that's another thing that you're also having to wrap your brain around yeah. is right. that the you're probably going to have to overhaul your eating. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Plus, it also gives you a support network. Mm -hmm. That is 
like the most That's important the thing, thing mm -hmm. because your family can't always know what you're going through. Let's put up the information about this event that Carmelita and Sunday have coming up Sunday, March 29th, last Sunday of the month at the Homewood Suites on North Tryon Street in Charlotte. Um, as she said, they're going to be kidney friendly snacks, um, sort of an informal meet and greet just to reach out for folks who know exactly what you are going through. Don't worry if you're scrambling for a pen. You know, we have you covered. Head on over to WBTV.com. Look in the web extra section under the home tab. Uh, Carmelina and Sunday, thank you uh, for coming out and for being so candid thank you. Uh, about your experience with thank kidney you. disease. Well, thank, thank you for bringing it. Delano.